is all the news all the time and my name is Adam yes it is and uh, we're looking at some interesting stories today has Amber Heard been blacklisted from Hollywood yes she has so good and uh, but before we get to there we're looking at Amber Heard is set to appear in Aquaman 2 oh, why uh, but her agent said the first movie should have made her more bankable hmm but it didn't <laughs> it didn't at all so what's next for Amber Heard well I've got some suggestions as Aquaman 2 gets pushed back yet again her agent weighs in let's have a little look Aquaman 2 recently got shifted to 2023 and will get pushed back again I understand it's getting serious significant reshoots as well and uh, Emilia Clarke is rumoured to be taking over her role but uh, significant reshoots because uh, it's not good uh, but it was hotly anticipated movie they say since the sequel to the 2018 whew, uh, it's been a while since uh, starring Jason Momoa I love that guy Amber Heard and Patrick Wilson got green lighted mm -hmm. oddly Heard did not get a big bump in her career following the release of the film in fact she's reportedly set to appear in the second movie in, in a much smaller capacity there's uh, 4.6 million people who would like that to be very very small indeed although uh, her agent at WME has admitted the first film should have made her more bankable mm -hmm. uh, the agent Jessica Kovacevic Kovacevic uh, was asked to speak before the movie got shifted as part of the uh, JD and AH trial that played out earlier this year yeah, during the course of events she noted the actress had not shot to the moon oh I wish she had as might have been expected thanks to her DC role which Heard has played in both James Wan's Aquaman and HBO Max version of Zack Snyder's Justice League which included a nightmare uh -huh. future with mirror oh the irony she said <laughs> nightmare future with her uh, she said because typically when you have an actor in a movie as successful as that as Aquaman was their career totally changes they're more bankable with that that did not happen mm -hmm. uh, part of the problem may have been that while critics like uh, this uh, website's own uh, Sean O'Connell were reasonably interested well that's damned by faint praise isn't it reasonably interested in Aquaman <laughs> as a movie oh is that delivery nice um, a lot of reviews were less excited about Mira that's putting it kindly while Refinery29 called Mira's relationship with Arthur Curry fun and quippy a lot of reviews were less kind to the actress's Scarlet Wig and performance THR even called it one note among other tepid reviews yeah a lot of damned by faint praise there um what was going on well let me tell you um the trial is the issue uh jessica is saying that uh yeah aquaman made over a billion dollars yes there was an expectation that her career would jump into overgear however the actress had in far oh, had in fact been part of the movie's success but her agent said the elephant in room was the bad press mm -hmm. related to what was happening in her personal life which included tabloid stories about her and depp and the now infamous op-ed and a libel trial um, and this just crushed crushed her career um, so there's some quotations here say no one can say out loud we're taking this away from her because of the uh, this bad press because it's nothing she did it's all hearsay and it's all whatever but there's no other reason I mean yeah t to be honest they're not taking anything away from her they're just not giving her something they're not taking well maybe they're taking away the Aquaman 2 role but uh, they're not taking away other opportunities they're just not giving them to her so Aquaman 2 has been a big topic in conversation this recent weeks but it got kicked into 2023 it came up multiple times during the AH and Johnny D defamation lawsuit and uh, AH saying she fought really hard to stay in the movie well there you go um, it's not looking good uh, for AH in Aquaman 2 she should have been more bankable she's not what else is going on let's have a little look well International Business Times is saying Amber Heard blacklisted in Hollywood studios distanced from her after the messy JD divorce this came out uh, today at 8 10 a.m. what do we got going on many fans are wondering about the future of AH following her loss in the six-week Johnny Depp defamation trial the Aquaman actress in July also lost her attempt to have the verdict in her trial with the ex-husband thrown out because one juror served instead of his father I know that was very weird in a case of mistaken identity mm, yeah there have been claims uh, as per pop topic that Heard slept her way to the top of the entertainment industry don't I do not doubt it the never back down <laughs> stars alleged oh yeah we got to say that alleged strategy reportedly dates to her days as an amateur model I want to put that in quotation marks please as an amateur 
their model. You know what I'm saying? An anonymous insider, oh sorry, allegedly, an, <laughs> an anonymous, <laughs> anonymous insider told the publication that production producers, production producers, are desperate to get rid of our AH. Well, yeah, uh, but it is said to be very complicated. There were also several questions going around how the actress was able to convince James Wan to retain her position in the Aquaman series. Yeah, how did, how did that happen, James? Uh, could we chat about that? Can uh, HR have a word? Fantastic. The informant stated uh, there's been a lot of talk about AH. The Hills have been singing her song. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good phrase. The Hills have been singing her song since before the divorce drama started. It's just a different tune now, <laughs> these Hills. Anybody who is anybody in Hollywood has heard of AH's wild orgies. Indeed so. And sadly, that means JD knew too. He knew. And it was slowly killing him. And being beaten up didn't help. He didn't want to confront her. He just ran away, went on Ben to try and kill his emotions and thoughts with drugs and alcohol they go on to say it continued most big studios began distancing themselves from AH after the messy divorce simply because they didn't want to upset JD by hiring her things though changed when she made those allegations against him uh, the table surely did turn the same tips to share but now after the trial and after all the new leaks are coming out about AH's past even her present Hollywood has had enough a, long of a lot of us were actually pretty shocked when we found out that AH had been cast as Mira in the Aquaman movies not because of the Johnny Depp situation but because she's not a great actress <laughs> say it like it is I would hesitate to even call her B-list well <laughs> there you go um it added, uh, also being one of the leads in the film and only banking approximately $2 million for the part just doesn't seem right. A lot of us are starting to wonder whether she slept with James Wan and that's how she secured this role. Yeah, AH would like to have a word, especially after seeing her in an intimate setting with him and Elon Musk. Uh, say no more. We know what kind of wild things the two of them got up to, allegedly. The Tatler also suggested that James Wan is the only reason why AH was not completely cut from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and still has a job in Hollywood. I mean, yeah. Uh, it said, the studio has wanted her gone since before the trial. She's a terrible actress. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to execute a clause in a contract which would have gotten her fired, but James Wan fought to keep her in. Well, he knows which side his uh, muffin is buttered on. Uh, so the executives, allegedly, sorry, uh, so the executives decided to just limit her role in the entire film by cutting her screen time to just 10 minutes. 10 minutes too far. Again, James Wan fought to restore her scenes. <laughs> I mean, what's it made of? Gold? Something about his artistic direction and whatnot. Well, who knows? Allegedly. To recall, during the defamation trial, Johnny Depp suggested that AH would use her body and looks to manipulate men mm -hmm, into giving her whatever she wanted. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor also opened up about the possibility of her cheating on him while he was busy filming movies and touring with his band. Mm -hmm. The publication noted that AH had been snapped getting cosy and taking men into Depp's apartment while her ex-husband was away. Among these was... Uh, uh, James Franco, Elon Musk, uh, I'm going to say Cara, Del uh, allegedly. Amber Heard was, has yet to comment on the cheating allegations and reports that she got blacklisted in Hollywood for blackmailing men. Oh, the, the, uh, the infamy of it. So avid followers, followers of Johnny Depp's ex-wife should take all these unverified claims, allegedly, allegedly, with a pinch of salt until everything is proven true and correct. <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so you can join the conversation down here if you fancy it. So there you go. Um, blacklisted from Hollywood for uh, being, as my grandmother would say, for being no better than she ought to be. So uh, yeah. So let me know what you think, what your thoughts, hopes, dreams, and ambitions are. We've got a new membership now. Join in, uh, be a member. Uh, you can uh, pay two pound ninety nine, I think it is, and yeah, it is. And you can get little icons after your name and uh, badges and little uh, sort of pictures of Johnny Depp after when you write a comment. And those things cost me loads of money to get commissioned. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to be good or not. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Like and subscribe if you uh, if you can. If you can uh, do that, that'd be fantastic. And I will see you guys later.